So you're going to want to make sure that you're getting your sticks from somewhere that you know isn't being sprayed with any chemicals. We know this place isn't getting sprayed by chemicals because we live here and we don't spray chemicals. So just find somewhere like that. Um, you're gonna wanna use more hardwoods and you're gonna wanna try to make sure that the sticks you find on the ground are like at least semi-freshly fallen because you don't want any rotting wood. But uh, I recommend bringing some kind of like handsaw because we really want this one but we have to break it at a certain point and we can't do it with our hands so we're gonna come back for this when we have a handsaw so maybe don't be like me and bring a handsaw your first round So we have these ones, our big sticks, and then we have our small sticks. For the small ones, you're going to want to make sure that they'll fit in your oven. That's the method you'll be using. And for the bigger sticks, you're just going to want to make sure that they'll fit in your bathtub, uh, fully submerged if possible. So now that you have all of your wood inside, um, you're going to want to sand it down um, just to where there's no sharp pieces. So I'm probably going to sand up here and here. Anywhere that it could cut your reptile, you're going to want to sand that down. You don't want to get rid of any like natural bumps or roughness or knots because your reptile can use that to shed. So I'm just going to be sanding off the sharp pieces and some broken off pieces and things like that. Um, I recommend doing this outside or at least above the trash can. I have a trash bag underneath this so that all of the wood you'll be sanding off, the sawdust doesn't get all over your house. Alright, so what I do is I get as hot of water as I can and I use this to scrub it and then I go ahead and after I scrub it, I give it a good soak in some distilled white vinegar. Some people use bleach, I just don't. Um, like I said, you can um, whittle some if you want to get some of the bark off but I prefer to leave most of it on. This just had some stuff I didn't like on it, so I went ahead and whittled that part. Okay, so we just put our final uh, pot of boiling water over it um, to get the temperature that I want, and we put uh, some weight over top so that they just they stay submerged. And then we're just going to leave it like this for about 24 hours minimum uh, because we want all that water to really soak to the core of the wood. So you don't want any uh, remaining pests to be inside of, of your wood, um, which is the whole reason we're doing this. So it is all down there. I will leave it for 24 hours, um, maybe more, not sure yet, and we'll come back um, and show you the rest. 24 hours later. All right, so I drained the water. It has been 24 hours, and I'm just going to rinse it off with, again, really hot water. And I'll probably scrub it a little bit with the scrubber again, and then just set it out to dry. I gave the six another scrub, uh, which is just plain hot water. Rinse them off with hot water really well. And now they're just going to sit in here um, with a heater on until they dry. Drying could take uh, several days because you want all of it to get dry like into the core and everything. So they'll be in here probably at the very least three days. But these are kind of bigger. Um, so. I would maybe leave these in for a week, to be honest with you. Alright guys, well, I was gonna film an actual outro, but I've been sick for the past couple of days. So, 
I was gonna mention this in my actual outro, but if you wanna use the bleach method instead, um, it's I think one part bleach to 30 parts water or something like that. There's a ton of videos out there on how to do it. Um, just since mine are going in with snails and amphibians, I chose not to do the bleach method. So, um, you just go watch a video on it because they'll actually tell you how to do it like properly. Then for baking it, because I wasn't able to show that because I haven't been able to do it yet. Um, if you want to soak and then bake, uh, let your stick dry out and then you can bake it for at least two hours on 200 degrees Fahrenheit and just uh, check it like every 10 minutes to make sure that it's not like on fire. Just be very careful. Um, you should be fine. I do that with the sticks that will fit in there. So I just wasn't able to show it because I'm sick and this video has to come out tomorrow. Um, also for <clears throat> the ones I couldn't bake, I honestly just soaked them longer um, and scrubbed them a little harder and then, you know, soaked them in like plain water for a little bit longer than the smaller sticks. So I didn't get to bake those, but none of them are like infested with anything and they all seem pretty clean. So. Um, after that, after they're all dry, because you want to make sure they are completely dry, um, they will spike humidity if they're not completely dry, then just uh, pop them in your enclosure and you're good to go. <clears throat> you will get to see my finished products next week because I have officially put together my Zen Habitat for Greg and I will be decorating it as soon as my sticks dry out and I'm feeling better. So that should be out next Friday. <clears throat> Um, and that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm sorry that this is the outro because it, that kind of sucks. And I'm sorry that my voice is probably very annoying right now because my throat hurts. But yeah, um, go follow me over on Instagram. The link will be down in the description below. Uh, I also have an art account. I will be opening commissions up extremely soon. Like as soon as I'm feeling better and I have this room in order, commissions will be back up for, for custom digital pet pictures. And I will also be adding some traditional art, like possibly some small paintings, some um, some cross-stitch work, and some perler bead work. So keep your eye out for that over on um, that Instagram. Link will be down in the description below as well. And give this video a like for the algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content or any animal content really. I post every single Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you next week. Bye!